Once translation initiation is complete, elongation begins. The elongation phase consists of three steps, binding of a tRNA to the ribosome, formation of a peptide bond between adjacent amino acids, and movement of the ribosome to the next codon. Elongation continues one codon at a time until a stop codon is reached. As initiation concluded, FMET tRNA was hydrogen bonded to AUG in the P site of the ribosome. The next codon is in the A site. In this case, the codon is UCC, which encodes serine. The serine-bearing tRNA in the cytoplasm forms a complex with elongation factor TU and GTP. This serenyl tRNA-EF-TU-GTP complex enters the A site where the tRNA anticodon forms hydrogen bonds with the UCC codon. Upon binding, the GTP is hydrolyzed and EFTU is released and recycled. With a tRNA in both the P and A sites, a peptide bond can form between adjacent amino acids. This reaction is catalyzed by peptidyl transferase residing in the large ribosomal subunit. The first step involves breaking the bond between FMET and its tRNA in the P site. Next, a peptide bond forms between the now freed FMET and the serine which is attached to its tRNA in the A site. Peptide bond formation is a condensation reaction that results in the release of water. At one time, it was thought that peptidyl transferase was an enzymatic protein. However, more recently, it was discovered that peptidyl transferase is a catalytic RNA molecule. An RNA capable of catalyzing a reaction is called a ribozyme. Once the peptide bond has formed, there remains an uncharged tRNA in the P site and a tRNA with a growing polypeptide chain in the A site. The ribosome now moves one codon along the mRNA with the help of EFG and another GTP. An EFG-GTP complex binds to the ribosome, hydrolysis of GTP occurs, and translocation begins. The uncharged tRNA moves from the P site into the E site, blocking the next amino acyl tRNA from attaching to the A site until translocation is complete. The tRNA in the A site, still bound to its codon, now moves into the P site. Once this tRNA is bound correctly in the P site, the uncharged tRNA is ejected from the E site. The A site is now open for the next amino acyl tRNA to enter, allowing the elongation process to continue. An average polypeptide consists of about 300 amino acids. Let's watch the elongation process once again. <laughs> 